back. Uh, we're watching Tokyo Live. Uh, I'm here at Akihabara, walking around, and hopefully we can do another live stream here. Everything's connection fun. These are Pokemon Magikarp. Oh, Magikarp is 28 bucks. 14 bucks. 6 bucks. Easy. Don't recognize these Pokemon. Cool. Oh, there's Curlin. Garrity, Godzilla. Where? I don't see that. Hey, Garid. Goku. Well, these are versions of Goku I've been seeing. That's cool, man. Yeah. There's Brawly, holy. George, we're back, yes. Because uh, I had to reconnect to see you guys. I think because it. Did, uh, sometimes it just freezes. But yeah. Interesting. Uh oh. They have train models and tank models here. That is so cool. Little guy fishing for a whale shark here. I mean, a giant shark, like white shark. You can see the model there, it's really detailed. Look at that. Japanese love miniatures. A lot of Gumpla. Is there SD there? Oh! Is this the new Gundam? Oh, it's 22 bucks. It's pretty good. Maybe I should get it. Mm. Whoa, what is this? Like a funky head. Tiny Gundam. I think these are made by people and on display here. Nice toys, right? Oh, I've never seen this one before. Somebody made this. But I think they're on display. Oh, there's a green one there. This one kind of looks like a creature. Maybe 29 bucks. They're on sale. This is $18. Probably cheaper. Uh oh, do we have connection? Let me know if it skips a con uh, bad connection. More Gumpla. Well, these are the really nice looking ones. It's only six bucks. What the heck? That's really good. That's really nice. I don't know if I've ever seen these. Oh, look at the details on these. They're only five to 15 bucks. I don't know if the I'm going to keep walking. Let me know if the signal's bad, guys, because uh, I need to know if I keep need to keep walking. Mm, these are big boxes. This is a master grade for $70. Can't even stay in one place. Again. Lots of people. What the fuck? Oh, Batman doll. This looks like whoa. These are this Batman doll is seventy dollars. Oh, it's Kaisen fifty nine. The signal here is really bad. Oh, look at that. You no know, character in the chair for that price. Robocop. Huh? Robocop. To keep moving. Signal's not so good around here. Paul wants Batman. Iron Gear Walker Machine 57. It's Iron Gear. It's like a. It's like a. What's a transformer? Model, good small camp company model kits. This guy's got hair, man. 
Look at that. It looks like a beetle. This thing is so colorful. It's pretty ridiculous. What the fruit? It's a little girl ball and snake. That's really weird. This is really weird too. Gun sets. Those guns. Motorcycles, Japanese uh, bikes, models. Yeah. Oh no! Unstable network. Ah. Should I get out? Maybe I should get out. Oh. I'm gonna exit. Oh. I'm gonna exit, guys. I need to get really bad. We accomplished what we wanted, which was uh, to see the PS5. This is the Naruto, that's a good one. Oh, still bad signal. These are like $80, $60 to $80. Kimetsu no Yaiba. I'm looking for the exit, guys. Let's go. We are back. Just don't guarantee the signal. So I'm gonna go visit this uh, shop just for about half an hour each time, and then let's continue the rest of our ride. Maybe we have better signal on other floors. Check out. Let's go check out the refrigerator. Ooh, this is the new robot. It washes and it vacuums your house. It's only fifteen hundred dollars. Half of this is washing, half of this is cleaning, $1,500. It's huge! Oh, it's, it's Check out Japanese refrigerators. The refrigerator, I mean the freezer sometimes is on the bottom. My freezer is on the bottom. Looks like this. Japanese refrigerator looks like this. Put your stuff down here. Oh, the vegetable units down here this time. Wow, that's kind of weird. This unit is. This is the refrigerator. Uh, free freezer. Freezer. See? Freezer. And then it opens. What's this? Probably the drinks. Yeah, the milk is in here. Robot is from a song. Look at that. You got your yogurt, water, pots and pans. Made by, oops, could it be Panasonic? Made in Japan. It's got some kind of filter technology. How much is it? Oh, it's only $2,300. What company is it? Oh. Let me see if there's some cool refrigerator I can share. Looks like the stream's okay right now. Hey, this is a Panasonic refrigerator. It's one door Panasonic refrigerator. It's huge. If it doesn't hit you in the face. Food is included when you buy that, probably. No. <laughs> it's a partial freezing. It's really big. I kind of don't like the big door. This is... I don't know what this is for, huh? What's, that? What's this for? Oh, for ice! This could be the freezer. Yeah, this is the freezer unit. It's weird. The freezer unit is the second to the bottom. The bottom is for vegetables. Cool. So that's a Japanese refrigerator. See, there's nothing special. 
This is a Japanese brand, Iris Oyama. I get that sometimes. This one though is still really expensive. 20, so close to $3,000, 29 Wandering in this boundless, endless store. Oh, look at the monkey. The eye robot. They have all these funky shapes now. Panasonic has made a. Uh, it looks like it's a. Ooh, it's a triangle one. This one's made by Panasonic. It's got a brush. It's $600. Where's this one I'm looking at? Cleaning the, the Japanese floor, the, the tatami floor. Oh my god. It didn't fall over. Hi, robot. These are very big. Mm. Fans, front ball meter. Look. These are like. 460 bucks. I think these things have a stir inside. No, it's just a rice. It's a rice cooker for 450 bucks. What the fruit? Must be a luxury brand. This is a, you know, hot water cooker. What is this? Looks like it keeps your... Oh my God, it's 400 bucks. And it's just a light. It's just a light. Bermuda, Bermuda light for four hundred dollars. Outdoor light. I can't believe they got into the shop. It's super expensive. Six hundred dollar fans. Two hundred dollar fans. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Four. Oh, here's hot pots. Japanese hot pots. Tiger. Tiger. This makes tatoyaki. Very interesting. Make my way down. Uh, Eric the Dragonheart, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome. I'm uh, exploring the floors. Unless you guys want me to walk around, let me know if you want me to walk around outside. Mm -hmm. there are these uh, little earbuds are really big business now. Sony has this really expensive thing. Good sound, but the shape is always weird. What's that thing? It doesn't look as good as Apple's. The price is very similar. This one looks even weirder. I saw this uh, on some YouTube like MKBHD. These are the earbuds. What a weird shape, right? So we gonna find more. Oh, this is by RDO Technica, made in Japan. It's 230. It's very light. I don't like the shape, it's weird. But a lot of Japanese people like music, of course, and so it's by Victor. $300. Huge unit like Bose. Reminds me of the Bose one. 
Hey, here's a familiar brand, JBL. JBL version is huge. Cheaper, $170. Yo, by the way, they sell them in like, for like $10 now at like a 100 yen shop, these earbuds. I'm sure the quality isn't good, but. JBL. <laughs> It's hard to put the shape back. The shape is so weird, it's hard to put it back. How do I put it back? Ooh, there you go. Look at this one. Radius. The company is called Radius. Price. Oh, it's cheaper. It's very annoying shape. It looks like it goes into your ear canal. Really, dude. Oh, this is very weird. Ow. You can't put it back. <laughs> That's really annoying. Oh, it doesn't cost a thing, which is good. Uh, I think it'll be like, oh my god, it's so expensive. 170 bucks. Apple is still better. What's this one? Kenwood. Hey, look. You guys know this brand, Kenwood. I'd rather lose a $10 earbud than the 170 yeah. Oh, these are like the long little, so the similar shape to Apple. It looks lower quality. It feels lower quality. Can't work. JBL. Shiny. Man. Oh, to get that in. Oh, there it is. That's JBL. Any cool brands I know of? Hey, hey, guys, looks Marshall. All gone trouble opening stuff. <laughs> probably. I should be careful. Maybe someone will use them before. Oh, well, probably lot, tons of people. Hello, hey, Mia, what's up? I'm showing you guys more stuff at Yorobashi. I don't even know what floor I'm at. I'll try to close my backpack so nothing falls in my backpack. Hey, Marshall made some ear, ear plugs. Kind of looks like Apple. Except here is very, uh, you can feel the grade. It's Marshall earbuds. <laughs> oh my god. Is it really $400? That's oh, some crazy business. Recently, these have been heavily promoted. It's called Final. The shave looks okay. It looks like an egg. No one will buy them because Paul broke them. I did. Marshall Pods are fourth of Yeah, it looks like it. Let me look at it again. Marshall Buds. It looks like something called a Master and Dynamic. That's a closer pro. Oh, never mind. Sorry, guys. Never mind. Marshall looks like it's 200 bucks. This is a $400 one. Let me check this one out in a sec. Final is $150. It's a weird... I don't know what country this brand is from, but it's called Final. It's got a... It looks like... Reminds me of Final Fantasy style. It's a weird little... Shape. Can't even get it back. Maybe I'm mirrors for you to check out your ears. For the right style. Get it back. Apple is so much easier, I hope. Come on, how'd you get back in? Oh. Alright, this Master and Dynamic is 400 bucks. Marshall is 180. This thing is heavy. It feels a little bit better quality. Master and Dynamic. It's small. Wide. It feels like it's made of metal. It's heavy. I don't know why it's $435. Master and dynamic. Feels like it's made of metal. Like I'm holding. Feels like really heavy. Oh, this is really tiny. If you guys like tiny, Gil Glidic. Glidic. Glidic is uh, really, really small. SD, work is super busy, but I'm listening. Thanks. 
A uh, good eye of uh, old goddess Ma means uh, have a good day at work or, or you work hard. Hey, HD, what's up? Look at these, these are so tiny. So tiny. I wonder who buys them. I feel like somebody can lose these, like earring size. Whoa, 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 it just popped out. I didn't want to go in. Oh, wow. Uh, so tiny, man. I can hold it and you can barely see it. I like the size. This one is a hundred dollars. This one's even inter more interesting. It's like flat. I can't open it. You're not gonna like this one. I can't even open it. The magnet is very strong. I give up. Oh. I found it. There you go. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Earbuds. I do like apples. By the way, they still like these, like, uh, strange looking earbuds here in Japan. SC says, I need ears over the ears type. Is it like this? Do you need these? Visual. Hey, Mark. Oh, don't get in trouble for filming. Sorry. I hope not. Thanks for uh, your concern. I hope I'm okay. I got trouble here filming in the Manila Mall. Oh, man, that's so bad. Take, be careful, yeah, be careful. These are some are like around the ears, like behind the ears. They're running about fifty to hundred dollars. That one is orange. It's so weird looking. It's two hundred dollars. Wow, so sound is really expensive. They don't look that good. People like maybe for the runner. Don't even know the brand. It's two hundred dollars. It's kind of tiny and right? Still doesn't beat Apple. JBL. One hundred thirty, forty bucks. The different models. Speakers. Well, that's an interesting shape. Look at that. It's like a little diamond. 600 bucks. Di di audio. Look at that. Clear speakers. Transparent speakers for 1700 This one is 800 Transparent speakers for 860 bucks. Mm, very, very much for a guy that likes to show stuff. Maybe I should get him. Sennheiser, whoa. Sennheiser. Wow, this is the Sony. Again, Sony's uh, gaming module. Jesus. It's got a little antenna. It's heavy. It's pretty heavy. Feels like Lisa Town. Sony's earbuds. Looks like a Star Wars ship. Yeah, looks probably looks like they got inspiration. This looks really cheap. Translucent plastic. God, they still sell CD players. Hey, I haven't seen this is a fifty dollars CD player. I haven't seen it. It's a CD player. Do you guys? Can you reserve a PS Five? Uh, I'm kind of scared. It's like six hundred dollars. Do do you do you want to get one? Yo, he says weird looking gadgets indeed. Look at this one. It's a CD player. How bad it is? Should I get one? 
I don't really have any CD. Oh, this is so small. CD player, very small. Koizumi CD player. They're only about 50, but they're not even cheap. Back in the day in the uh, Best Buy, it was like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I hear Yerobashi song. Yep. I'm a wonderful. Oh, it's a square CD player. It's like a book. Our old people probably like this stuff. Everything's like 50 bucks. Oh, this is 30. Hey, 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 this is cheap. Very polished, you get it. Portable CD player from AudioCon. Let's uh, skip. You better not forget it quick or else we'll stop. Huh. No joke. Yeah, you're funny, Joey. Yes, and Paul wants to start collecting CDs again. I do. Eric, hey, do CDs even exist? Yes, here, yes. They exist a lot here. AudioCon. Dang, that's 74 bucks. What's the difference? Underneath, look at batteries for double A's. It's too big for my backpack. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Too big for my backpack. Look at this. It's a $500 wooden. Wooden. It feels like it's at least a pound and a half. No, no, it could be a kilogram. It's made of wood. It's like basically their earphones for the. Audio file. Jeez, it looks like I'm an uh, air traffic controller feel. These are also made of wood. Very beautiful. Feels like real wood. Three hundred dollars. Beats by Dr. Dre. It's here. It's here. Studio Wireless. Alright, I heard Apple bought this brand, so Apple's is now taking over and not promoting it as better as much as Apple's. I kinda wanna get Apple's so. though. Beats was cool until Apple got in the game. Oh, I do like Sennheiser. I feel like it's a European brand. I'm not sure. This sound is great. It only sets me back $200. It's kind of funky color. HD5991. So, Beats by Dre looks like this. There's no model. That's $200. I'm wandering around, guys. Oh, Bang Olsen's all the way over there. There's definitely a lot of luxury items. Speakers with lights. So that was the fourth floor audio. I'm trying to go down now. Third floor has cameras. Man. Guys, enjoy. It's SD. If I, I were there, the earbuds too long. I'll get pimples in my ear. Oh no. Right, it's like the toothbrush floor. I thought there was digital cameras here. GoPro is here. I always like walking around, paying respects to the GoPro and the, all the YouTube. This is what I used to film with, guys. 
360 video. And you make a 360 video with this camera. The GoPro Max. Yeah, the Max. This is what I used to make it with. I'm trying to show you if they have any footage. GoPro Max. I have a different 360 camera now, but this is pretty much it. It's kind of, how much was it? There's no price, that's so neat. And look, GoPros are kind of expensive, 700, 800, 9 and 10. I really like this front view, I can see myself. You can't fly drones in Tokyo, where else I'd be flying this to show you guys? Tiny little drone. Uh, I think that's all a piece of hokum. Electric pad for your waist. It's 500 bucks. That's kind of steep. Oh, DJI's bigger cousin. Look at that. Four hundred, five hundred bucks. GoPros, various sticks. This one's, I believe, for going into the water. How oh, about rice cookers? Are you buying today? No. The rice cooker we saw earlier was 400 bucks. Look at that. Oh, so this is the Max and the huge long pole. Microphones are here. Where is the microphone? Oh, it's not there. Somewhere. I was thinking about buying this camera. But I'll just use my phone for now. Good looking camera. This is the DJI Osmo Action 3. Also, like, 500, 600 bucks. I guess it's waterproof. I know TV has that one, but whoa, this drone is a uh, 1300. Look at that tiny little motor there. Can't fly this in Tokyo though. So epic travel story. The DJI, Enoshima. Oh, they're back in Enoshima. Maybe you can uh, use a DJI in the This is a travel vlog. <laughs> Enoshima, that's what Enoshima. Huge drones, man. They, this drone cut me a long time ago. It's like, look at the blades. I got a giant, I don't know if it's still a scar, but oh, this drone is even more powerful. Jeez. Oh, this is a DJI Pocket. I'm very interested in it, but it doesn't live stream. See, it's like a smaller version of what I'm using. It's only 600 bucks. Main unit is 500. I was thinking about getting this, so my uh, my gimbal is a lot stronger. So this is a uh, 200 for Osmo gimbal. I think Yuka has that. Daniel has it. Daniel uh, Yuka. You can't get a drone without dr uh, drying. What's that? Now he's hungry. Interesting. Whoa. A lot of uh, a lot of gimbals here. These are gimbals, right? <laughs> what we what we use professional level stuff. It's one of the one thousand dollar gimbal. Really, really heavy. Yeah, astronomical, man. I mean, you know, the iPhone cost me about uh, over one thousand dollars. So. It is what it is. This is a DJI, I think, Ronin. 
This is what like virtual Japan has. One of these. EJ has this. It's really heavy. Even, I don't know which model he has though. But this, this, you know, thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, eight hundred. That's a Ronin. Maybe, yeah, this one. That's what I just picked up. Crazy thing. It's really heavy, man. This thing's like four or five kilograms. Yeah, yeah. It feels like 10 pounds. I don't know. But it's really heavy. It's really heavy. Okay, maybe I lied. It's like four. Look at the What? So with everything, is this? 1.8. I'm weak. But anyway, it's 1.4 kilograms. It looks like with stuff, it's 4.5 kilograms. I'm seeing things that when I'm hungry, George, Daniel. <laughs> Look at this thing. All that just to balance a uh, Sony Nikon Canon camera. If I had a car, I would stick the GoPro there. Like that. Browser Lights for your house. If I was like a hot chick, I'd do that. Live. Yeah, man. We are live, but uh, different kinds of live. Oh my god, look at all these cameras. Uh oh. I'm gonna go super wide, guys. Alright. Can't really pass now. Maybe I'll just stand. It's a lot of stuff. And I think it's a little bit uh, more higher price than Amazon, but... No, I'm stuck. Oh, he moved. Yay. I can get out of this maze. Hey, that's me. Everything's so crazy. George, my cell phone is so e greasy. Oh no! We're in the camera section now. We're like T's world. Oh really? It's a 7R? Oh my god. This is really big and heavy. Let me take good quality photos for the postcards I send you guys. Yo, this camera is uh. Oh, hi, hi. Hey Frank, how you doing? I'm going to go to watch the camera. This is, seven, this is my camera, guys. Not with this nice lens, though. I, I've got the stock lens, but... So my camera did not cost 2800 It cost like a, a little bit under two grand. All for YouTube. Oh, this is another... Oh, this is my camera. This is pretty much my camera for YouTube. 7C. Very good. It doesn't overheat. Oh. There you go. Hopefully that works. That's 22,000. Yeah. I got a used one. Ooh. Turn out nice posters for YouTube or something. Look at all this cool stuff. And these lenses cost as much as a camera. Look at that. Glass is like gold. Hi, Penelope. Fungus. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just exploring and uh, hopefully we can find some cool stuff. All these people love. Oh, I don't. I was thinking about getting a Panasonic. I think uh, what original uh, Virtual Japan's videos are from uh, Panasonic. Where, where's the camera? I thought he was using. One second. Yeah, he, he had a GH5. Here, this is a GH5 too, but he was using a GH5S, I believe. Where is it? I can't find it anymore. Uh -huh. Well, I was thinking about the game GH5 too, but that's for vlogging and stuff. Probably not sold anymore. This is the new model. Oh, it's really heavy. 
GH5S is really heavy. It's Panasonic's. They don't overheat. It's good for vlogging. And the S is for sensitivity and light. So you can uh, make nice vlogs at night. Cameras are really weak at night. Then it's 3,000, 2,600. Very heavy. Very expensive. Canon sucks for making videos, apparently. Oh, and this is what uh, MKBHD uses. This camera is 10K, $10,000. I think. See? Close to $10,000. I'm not sure they have this one. Anyway, it's a Hasselblad. This thing weighs very heavy. I won't try to guess how heavy. Let me show you. No way is this thing 800 grams. It's very heavy. Hasselblad. What, what country is this from? Is this Swedish? Hey, Dean, Hasselblad. Bed bugs are biting Clayton. Oh no. Hi, Clayton. What's up? Sorry, I'm uh, lost in staring at cameras. It's like toys for YouTube. Hey, it's Nikon. I don't use a Nikon, but uh, maybe I should. There's some Christmas decorations here. Fungus, hey! Nikons, I don't really know them. Still, Nikons are still very powerful and strong in Japan, but for YouTubing, I don't really get it. Yes, they take great pictures. Oh my god, it's $800 pole. $800 um, pole, yeah, fiberglass pole. These are all for the camera enthusiast. Really, right now, oh, Sunny Bag. Sunny Bag brand is selling a solar powered backpack. It runs about $150. Tripod. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, $800 tripod. Did you see that? $60. Medium format, bigger than full frame. Oh, Clay also likes cameras. So I think I'm on the third floor, guys. I was on the fourth floor exploring refrigerators. Now I'm on. Ooh, so these are Canon binoculars. This is really expensive stuff. If anyone likes bird watching, by the way, that's a huge hobby here in Japan. It's a Canon binocular. Can we see anything? Nothing. It's probably has to turn on. Oh look, these are a little bit more my price range. Not really, still very expensive. It's a tiny one. It's a Nikon, wow. Nikon binoculars. Guys, bird watching is huge in Japan. Or staring at the neighbors. Peeping. But, uh, yeah, Nikon binoculars. I don't really get why you want one. Maybe just to stare at something. I think it's for the old dude and his toys. Been like, I don't know, by a, a one binocular. Penelope, SD. Funny how Paul was clunking the, that camera down. Sorry, did I? Whoops. Oh, these are huge. Kenko. It's really heavy. I try to put it down safely, but I'm doing it with one hand, and it's my left hand. Keep those binoculars away from Radisha. Oh, haha. Yeah, they have a strange use. It's a 9,000 yen by Kenko. Nikon makes a lot, apparently. Nikon can't. $200? What the? And then they've got the. the Star, what, what are the telescopes? For again, for like the rich kid or adult. Ooh, they've got what, what are these called again? $200 um, Vixen stereoscope, microscope. There you go, with a radio. What's going on there? $200 is a lot better than camera, binocular. A lot of stuff here. And by the way, these are really popular in Japan. It's like the Kodak camera that prints out pictures right away. This one's going for 100, looks like this. 
in stacks. I thought about getting these would make great gifts for the girls. It prints out the Polaroid Polaroid camera, like regular. This one's two hundred dollars. Let's print that stuff right out. Right out of this hole. Fiber film. And then the pictures start looking like this. Come out like that within a second. Yeah. This must be their luxury model. Whoa, it's $200. This is it good use if you want to print out a picture for a friend. It's very nice. Oh, jeez. It's mostly made of plastic. Astrophotography. Paul oh, didn't have any music media in that store. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Underwater cameras are cool. Hey, uh, I wonder what cam- Oh, she live streaming too? Oh wow, she live streaming too. In so, like some other language too. She walked pretty fast. Hey, wedding photos. Looks like a lot of live streaming in here. Yo, if I become a photographer, I'd buy one of these. Reminds me of Kakashi from Naruto. Pocket vest. Carry my YouTube gear. I'll put it back. Sorry, man. Paul is going to film mermaids. Oh, yeah. So, ooh. Coleman's a really big bag company here. Yeah, Coleman. Coleman. What's this? I think this area is the the photo oh dude is this is a digital photo it's eight hundred dollars it's basically a big screen in your house and you put pictures loaded with pictures and it's a digital what is it i can't remember digital photo book they sell canes remember i showed you guys those canes at the dollar store these canes are 17 bucks and these are the old people glasses pretty luxury it's like, they're apparently it's called Hazuki Rupe. You can sit on it. Oh my god. And it's okay. You can read the dictionary. <laughs> Interesting. These are all like uh, photo frames. Well, I'm gonna need some when I uh, take some wang pictures. Ooh, look at that. 2000. Luggage case. Hey, yo, I'm in the luggage cage area now. Oh, case. I'm out. Yo, is this thing five hundred dollars? Some luxury luxury luggage case. Oh. So like travel bags for like camera people for I'm trying to see what this one really sticks out. Yellow straps, nylon. For a photographer in your life. Anyone know this brand? Low Pro. Damn, this is a weird commercial showing people the glass. Oh no, it's very common here. But it was weird when I first saw it. $300. I can't afford this. Scratch your paw. Be careful of your paw. Hmm. Walk around. Let's see, I feel like Pokemon. I'm exploring a new area. Well, so these are the all the oh, chemicals for printing. There's a lot of uh, serious uh, printers out there. Oh my god, is this a Kodak? This is a Kodak camera. I'm holding a Kodak camera, it's 80 bucks. Feels like plastic. Oh, you put it in the rolls? Yo, if anyone's into nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia. It's a Kodak camera. Look at that. You look right through there. It's uh, 
probably a film. It's uh, 40 bucks, 50 bucks for Kodak plastic camera with film. That's pretty cool. Kodak film cameras are still live in Japan. In Japan. In Japan. Yeah, more of the Insta maps. You can create your own little. I think young people love this, you know, to to you know, take pictures of uh, their romantic. Uh, yeah, dating. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's good for presents. Oh, photo frame. I had a secret wish my house was stylish. No cheesy frame. Oh, Japanese baby. Not bad, it's a seven dollar frame. Is it cute? It's a sweet, I think this is a Swedish cake, I don't know. Paul's having Kodak mode. Oh yeah. Whoa. So these are kind of good idea. Anyone's got pets? You can have a little, you know, the pet and their beloved uh, collar. Wow, that's a good idea. And, and the, the, the dogs are uh, kind of funky but weird. A little cute toy they used to chew in the, It's only $24 or something like that. Give or take the exchange rate. Whoa! That's a big little case. Oh, I had kids I get it. Hey. Look at that! These are just samples, of course. We are in the store. It's 15, 20 bucks. Oh, I like these. These are really like solid. It's just a curly glass. I don't think my wife likes them. Solid piece of curly glass. I really like how clean they look. Cute little one for babies. All right, what else can I see here? Oh, the ooh, ooh. The family. This is a cell printing area. I could print Tokyo Polo with all these t-shirts. Polo son, hey, how you doing? Happy New Year. I could print these cat t-shirts. What was the price on that? I didn't say. Oh, only 20 bucks. Somehow I would have to ship them. Print out some nice t-shirts. Huh, what else is here? Let's go to floor two. Oh, by the way, this is Pocket Talk. The Pocket Translator. You can translate. It's like Google Translate on steroids, I believe. Because it speaks. It speaks for you. plays a sound. So I guess you could do it on Google Translate too. But this is 300 bucks. The Pocket Talk. Too small. Yeah, you are, you're probably really tall. <laughs> I thought Kodak was not allowed in Japan years, many years ago. That's interesting. Floor 2 is PC, peripherals, liquor, and stationery. Let's go. More Kodak cameras. Let's check out the printers. Look at these high class printers. That's a screen. It's only $300. Epson. The screen's helpful, but very expensive. I print at the convenience store. I don't have a printer. Anyone has a printer? Yari, baby pictures are cute. Oh, really? Still on uh, Doyobashi? Yes. Still in Yorobashi. Uh, it's huge. And I want to show one. Uh, I guess today's the day. These are computer monitors, super wide. Oh, look at that. Wow, $600. So I bought a. What was it? I forgot. Oh, a Korean brand computer screen. But now I mostly do YouTube on my MacBook. I never heard of this company, Japan Next. $800 screen. It's a curve screen, MSI. Oh, this is a Taiwanese brand. 
It's six hundred dollars. It's curved. Look at that. This thing is curved. Let's all go to the liquor department. Let's make 2023 box free. Okay, if you're sure. Audio components, smartphones. And again, I don't really understand liquor, so that's cool. I kind of want these, but you know, Soda Stream Duo. Holy, I drink a lot of water, soda water. Look at that. I buy a lot just from the grocery store. Uh oh, liquor, liquor department's over here. I'm gonna go right. Are these keyboards? Oh look, Kensington. $40 for a gel pad. You always typos are con contagious. <laughs> Curved screens are weird in my opinion. Hello. It's D. Hi Philippe G. Let's see. Going back to the PC peripherals. What is this? Oh, they have disc books. You can buy disc books for your 48 CD. My CD collection. I used to have Backstreet Boys CDs from China. I had a Lincoln Park CD. Oh, look, they got speakers. These speakers look weird. Edifier. Oh, well, this is my YouTube uh, home setup. It's for gaming, I see. It's kind of funky for Oh, these light up. Even better. So, how's the sound? Can't no, no sound. Oh, these look nice too. That's really cheap. Like dirt cheap. That's nice. For 20 bucks, I'll take it. I meant to say these. <laughs> These are a weird shape. Like a rod. Hey man, look at that. So we got some suitcases. I really like this. Look, it expands by zipper. It's hard outside. Some people like it, some people don't. Reminds me of a back in the day, you got clothes washer. You just rub your clothes against this kind of material. It has a lock. I don't know if it's a T TSI cruise or whatever the American, I forget what it was. Anyway, luggage case. We're running for about 200 bucks. See, so maybe it looks like they're for the. Looks like for the. This is a travel section, yeah. They're all about 200 bucks, 250. Too much, right? Yeah, I was going for the 20 buck one. This might be for a businessman or the one two day traveler. Really tiny. I like the pattern though. More luggage cases. Now they're 300, 350. Wow, oh, this looks nice. Oh, it's insane. Thirty-five liters. Yeah. Looks like a metal tin. Very heavy looking. Sturdy aluminum box. Yeah, that's why. Well. Probably very sturdy. I like how it has a pocket outside. Two hundred fifty bucks. The aluminum ones look heavy. Travel section. Here I come. What else they got? Cat police. Uh, yeah, there's some people here. Uh, hello, kitty bags. Things are kind of expensive here. Dollar store. I totally recommend going to Dollar store for shopping. They, the Dollar store, Kyoko and Daiso, has a travel section too. Sometimes, the bigger ones. I recommend the Daiso Kinshicho Station, the biggest one in Japan. Travel mini clock. Okay. Why don't I just use my smartphone? So I ended up walking back out. All right. Oh, guys, look. This is weird. It's like freeze-dried food. I think you just add hot water and wait 15 minutes. 
And this is pilafu. Vegetable yasai pilaf. Vegetable pilaf. It looks like fried rice for 70. It's good for disasters. But I guess you could go camping or carry it. What else I got? It's mostly rice. Dry curry. 350 yen. 260 grams. Add water. You can just add water. Dry curry. Yo guys, did you guys know uh, ramen, cup ramen, ramen in plastic form? Different technology though. It's 179 yen. A little more expensive, but this is for travel, right? You don't have space for cup. Oh god, I gotta move. Transmission is getting weird here. I'm gonna keep moving. Oh, gaming, gaming keyboard. Look at that. This one by Logical. You guys know that. I think Logitech. What's the price? Three hundred dollars. Maybe that's a different one. Okay, okay. Number two. No, 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 no. This one's like lit up. It's lit up and it's still no price. Oh, very not helpful. Oh, well, I guess it's about $100. Let's say it looks like lit up and it's about $100. Cool. Lit up keyboards. This thing is really pretty. Very tactile. I don't like the strong back, uh, back feedback. It's light sync mice gaming people might know as well whoa this has a numpad on the side some kind of pad then you can memorize the keyboard oh. Oh. Uh, microphones i want to keep walking because uh, this store is kind of funky. All right, let's go out. Maybe it's time to get out. Hey, Paul. Hey, Widya. We got uh, the Zomeshki in Tokyo Big Site. Friday? Hey, what's this? Is that a special event? Uh, what is that? That's interesting. Thanks for asking, Widya. Let me look into it. I don't know what that is. I'm going out to get better signal. We are going to watch the camera in Akihabara. It's probably really getting, getting into the afternoon. It's probably like 1 p.m. Um, yeah, I'm just here chilling with you guys. So this is Yorobashi Akiba in Akihabara. Uh, TTL annual New Year's fire review. What's that? Should I do some kind of review? Give me more uh, info, please. Yeah, I went deep into Yorobashi camera today. I feel like that might have been the best goal today. You know, the prices no one can afford those prices. Yeah, yeah, no one. I feel like it's for like the uh, manager CEO class. Um, this place is really big and it's definitely very memorable. So when you come to Japan, definitely 
Tokyo firefighter display. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know, video. Um, do you guys have an interest in that? I'm honestly kind of tired and uh, I haven't had food since breakfast. So I think I'm gonna just uh, peace out. Uh, it was a good for me. This was a live stream now about Yorobashi camera back there. And I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, and uh, do, do check out my uh, coffee or Patreon for updates. And if you want postcards or if you want pictures from when I went to Ueno and ate. And then uh, the Las Rave. And then, um, yeah, we'll go live again probably next weekend or, you know, whenever, you know, more holidays and stuff. We are at Akihabara Station. I'm going to take this time to thank you. Thanks, Frank, Widya, George, Daniel, OK, and uh, Philippe G, Penelope, uh, Gary, uh, Yari. Thank you, guys. SD, Garfield. Follow the sun. Uh, I think the, the kanji name I can't read. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, back in the clay. Two kanji names I can't uh, read, but thanks, guys. All right, guys. This is Paul. To thank you for hanging out with me today. And uh, yeah, do have a great rest of your day. And happy 2023.